Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a questions and answers session for the next version of Windows 10 version 1909. That is the version of Windows 10 that is to be released in the next few weeks. So um, of course a lot of questions after you guys have seen the videos that I posted with my uh, install of uh, 1909 also known as 19H2. First question is uh, what name it will have. We still don't know as Microsoft has not released any details yet. Uh, this is still in the insider rings so um, this is not officially announced for release. It's supposed to be released in October. That's a lot of people are asking me and we have a hint that some people are saying that internally they've been referring to this as the October 2019 update. So that's possible that it will be named the October 2019 update. For the uh, release date, there's no official release date, but we're pretty sure that it's sometime in October, where we might actually have more details on what this is all going to be about is on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, October 2nd, Microsoft is having an event uh, in New York. We know they're going to announce new devices, but we probably wonder if there's going to be some kind of Windows 10 announcements also in there. So that's going to be something that I will be checking out on uh, Wednesday. The uh, event starts at uh, 10 a.m. in uh, New York. So of course, and it's uh, live streamed on the internet. So we'll be able to watch this and of course do a little update. Um, other questions that come to this is uh, how is performance Performance is really good. Um, I've had no issues. It's not uh, it's not slower or anything. It's really really uh, it keeps up with what Windows 10 has always been doing. It's most versions of Windows 10 every time you upgrade are pretty much the same in performance. There's no degrading of performance or anything. Um, it is going to be compatible with anybody that's running anything right now with Windows 10 1803 or later. So that is also something that if you have 1803, the April 2018 update, for example, on a uh, older machine, you should technically be able to run version 1909 and 19H2. There hasn't been any announcements of anything that would be changing as to what is compatible or not. And that hasn't really changed much in the past uh, couple of years now. As for the... Um, features while well, I posted a video with some of the new features in here. You can check that out. As for the release, how it's going to work, it's a cumulative update. So this update is smaller than everything that uh, we've had in the past in feature updates. So this will come as a cumulative update, an optional cumulative update for most people. Uh, there was a lot of uh, talks and people saying, well, you know, I'm could I be offered this instead of uh, 1903 when um, I, I get it from you know my um, Windows 10 April 2018 update because now you guys are forced to upgrade because um, in November you'll have the last patch Tuesday and that's coming up soon it's you know slightly more than a month from now um, and um, I don't know how it's gonna roll but I, I would think that it's possible that instead of jumping to 1903 it might be offered 1909 directly uh, it's not impossible. As for anything else um, in terms of problems or anything, like I said, I'm mine on. I, I only have. I got two installs of 1909. One on an old Core 2 desktop, and now on my new Acer Nitro 5 laptop, which is a very recent uh, computer. And I have no glitches, no problems at all. It seems to be running very well. So I don't think there's, um, you know, it seems to be very stable. And it's being tested quite a lot also. That's why we don't have a lot of news. They're really, really testing it a lot. Um, once again, some of you said, well, you know, I'd like to have it now. Can I do that? You know, it's an insider thing. So basically, I never recommend really, unless we really are sure we are there. Technically, this, what we have in features is pretty much what, you know, is, is it's feature complete, that's for sure. It might still have a cumulative update for bug fixes. But technically, if you, uh, you know, enroll yourself in the Windows Insider program in the Windows updates and put yourself in release preview, you can actually get it now. 
As for an image for the latest version, there's no images for the latest version yet. Uh, 18363, I'm not sure it's, I think there there was one update or one image, but it uh, dates back a couple of weeks now. So um, that's pretty much where we are. Um, and to answer once again the last question, will this be available through the media creation tool? I believe that when this is released, the media creation tool will be updated with the image and with the install for 1909. Uh, that is probably what's going to happen. So pretty much all the questions, if you have any questions, just ask and we'll try to answer them in a uh, future video for 1909. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.